if you can take a drug addict's blood and inject it into your own, you get the benefits of the drug body minus all the bad. So it makes you a stronger person. This episode is brought to you by Mac Weldon. <laughs> He's we'll going to pump me full of steroids, make me have a kid. Good. What's that? Nothing. Make you do steroids and have a kid? You might crush him on the way out. Well, okay. Can my you do kegels, steroids while my, pregnant? My, my vagina is so jacked. <laughs> yeah. I'm wondering, can you? Do you think you could get a needle through the belly into the kid? Sure. They jack do that, that kid up a little bit. Oh, yeah, oh baby. man, he'd be shredded in the womb. Anyway, yeah. So this episode is brought to you by Mac Weldon. Um, <laughs> if you want to look at your, look good, almost naked, uh, you'll find out more about that later. Hey, welcome back to another episode of Open House. How's, how's everyone doing? Well, roided. I got this brown <laughs> shit that's just collecting in my sinus cavity. Well, I'm glad you brought up that story because our first question this week comes from Michelle Hughes. With the upcoming wrestling documentary coming out, what other documentary would you each want to make and why? It's been done a hundred times, but I'm still going to do it. Okay. Steroids. But what's the documentary going to be just, about? It's just going to be the documentary of me doing steroids. Yeah. Okay. So we're never going to show pictures of me <laughs> right now. <laughs> okay. It'll just be six yeah. weeks later. They'll start filming when I'm already roided can it, up. Can it be you just denying? you ever did them like no oh, this absolutely. is me natty you just yeah. like oh this is me natty you know i never touch gear <laughs> this is the 18th time we've talked with bruce about this and he's still denying <laughs> yeah, we've show- I mean, there's a scene where they show you footage of you take like through a bathroom door of you uh, syringing okay. yourself and going, yeah, yeah, yeah the yeah. steroids feel great and you're watching it back going like that's not steroids at night he's like running through the woods like bigfoot oh, oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Looking for it's weights about to 20 live. minutes long and then it just kind of ends. Yeah, yeah, you bet. I am going to make a documentary about the formation of rooster teeth and the history of oh, rooster teeth. Okay. It's going to be called the Cockumentary. <laughs> so that's why that was the only reason uh, she came up with this idea. So Bernie, if you're watching, hmm. he's not. He's not. I right. uh, I want to be the first man on Mars. Uh, very similar to Billy Bob Thornton's plight. I would like to be the farmer-like astronaut and just fly myself there. I'm going to do it on my own. I'll build it. So it's. Basically, a documentary about me killing myself. Yeah, you don't yeah. know how to build rock. I mean, it's, it's, probably Mars. A, it's probably a documentary about you trying something for a week and then giving up. <laughs> honestly, we'll call it Challenger Two. T O O. I since, as we know, documentaries are merely there to fulfill the personal desires of every individual That's rooster true. teeth. Yep. I want one where I, I go home. I become a Japanese citizen. I integrate myself into their culture. I have a Japanese family. Get the surgery? Uh, yeah, yeah. The I get. Re- you know, oh, you do the, the eye, facial structure the change. Yeah, most people surgery. do it to the to That's the change. other way. But yeah, yeah, yeah no, it. it's, it's like that James Bond movie, which was very respectful and, and tasteful. I'll become a karate master, uh, and then I'll I'll learn all the secrets of their ancient Oriental wisdoms. What do you call it, Lawrence? Ooh, Land of the Rising Sun <laughs> tag. Peak. Um, well. Turns out Jacob really, really loves marine biology, so I would like to make a documentary about that. Wait, about Jacob loving marine biology? Or about you loving marine biology? He just likes no, watching him. dolphin videos. Oh, it's so. about Peak talking <laughs> with different Jacob about no, Jacob's love of marine biology. This documentary doesn't have to be about me, it's about Jacob. That's true. You're so it's a careful. documentary about Peak loving Jacob that loves marine biology. But dolphins have sex with people. That's you bet they do. Them. I don't know. Do They're they? good at it, no, too. they can. You're going to learn that in the documentary. Lots surprise. of animals yeah. can <laughs> have sex with humans. Do they? As I don't know. Yes. I've heard they do. I've heard guys. I've heard lots peak. of people say it. I don't know that it's very it smart. Actually Dolphins occurs. rape. Next question from Pringus McDingus with Gus slowly approaching his 40 year old shotgun retirement plan. When do the members of Funhouse plan to retire and what will their plan be? Well, we were talking about this a little bit earlier. Matt Peak is going to retire before the rest of us yeah. because he's the most conservative with his money. You save yep. the most money. He saves the most money, and so he's going to be that. able to retire probably 30, 39, he's, 40. He's the only millionaire among us. Yeah. He's going to buy a, a boat and he's just going to go Not out that I know of. Sunseeker. Mm-hmm. And uh, yeah. and just float around. He's gonna be out there with his iPhone four. Yep. Peak, so wait, uh-huh. so when are you gonna retire? I, I don't plan to retire actually. I mean, I feel like there's always something, some interest you'll have that you can pursue. So you're, mm. gonna, you're gonna edit when you're an 85 year old man? I don't know. Maybe I'll probably be doing pursuing other interests by then. Like you know? Photoshop? Steroids. <laughs> steroids. Yeah. yeah, yeah 85 yeah. year old steroid Live man. Like but there's always a good time to start. Um, I actually plan to retire. Right now, Bruce. No. Oh wow, that's wow. unexpected. What a what an amazing run Bruce has had. Yeah. Okay. All right, guys. It's okay. Been great. Yeah. All right, wait. Bruce. All right. Thanks. Yeah. See you, man. Thanks for everything. See you, Bruce. Wait, Bruce. Turns out YouTube stopped running ads on our videos. We need you to come back. <laughs> oh. Or giving your life meaning. Otherwise, you'd hang yourself in a day. You know it. Yeah, that's true. That's a good point. I always thought it'd be fun to retire and then write children's books. They're like 15 pages, so and most easy. of them are drawings. So you don't really have to spend uh. that much time. But then people always remember them. 
The fucking hungry caterpillar guy? Eric. Ooh. The guy who rode the hungry caterpillar. Eric. Do you know who he's talking about? Nope. Uh, about 65, I'm gonna retire from media production and then transition to a career in a funeral home. Get the discount. Oh, That's good smart. idea. Yeah. That's really That's good. Really and any organs I want. I'd like to flip houses, probably invest in some sort of forklift or uh, bulldozer type machine, and I'm just gonna drive down the neighborhood and flip houses. So you're really gonna yeah, actually flip the houses. Yeah, you don't, fuck, that's not fuck what the it neighbors. means. Yeah, that's not what it means. Way less. I want to be like the guy from Don't Breathe. I want to be the only guy on my block. No, you just you buy the house and then you sell this it later. Poverty. That's flipping a house. I mean, you could sell it. It's just gonna be upside down. Yeah, buy my upside down house. He doesn't understand. I'm interested. Anyway, Knilt, with Disney making more and more live action version of their classic movies, which non Disney animated film would Funhouse be the cast of? James, you will say at the same time. We'll do on the count of three. Okay. Alright, one, two, three. Cool Shrek. list. Oh. Shrek! Oh, cool. we're Sorry. all Shrek. Did you say cool world? <laughs> <laughs> what did you say? Titan AE. Titan AE! Oh, I think you're going to secret in him. Hey, what is your problem? You can answer Demas, Bruce. Baby's kids. Donkey! Oh, Come on, we can great. talk about them. And Princess! Oh, got her! Come on, I'll be, I'll be Shrek! Rock a doodle do. Yeah. Rock a doodle. Rock a doodle. Rock a doodle. <laughs> At least looks like Maybe she might have an like, answer. I'm, I'm trying to think of a non Disney one, is the Curse tough the part. Rat. Just say Shrek 2. Shrek 2. No, oh, yes. we're not Shrek Ever After. What's that weird 60s movie with a cat that fucks other cats? Fritz, Fritz the cat. That'll yeah. be us. That's yeah. good. The we cats can... have titties. Ralph yeah. Bakshi is a genius. I love his art. Perfect. Yeah, his art's great. I like the tit parts. Lawrence, next question. Oh boy, okay. Andrew Time writes The Legend of Zelda, Breath of the Wild, reinvented the Zelda form formula by making it an open world a post apocalyptic game with weapon degradation. What kind of Zelda game would each of you make drastically to change up the Zelda formula? That's easy. Dating game. There's only one girl. <gasps> oh my so you gosh, that's a great idea. And what is she gonna do? Like, you you pick a bad dialogue option, so you're like, Link, I'm really mad. And then she walks like 20 feet that way, and you just... But I need Well, I'm help. still the only dick in Hyrule, so let's get it on. And then you do, because she has oh, to. It's is great. Is that true? Yes. That's not true. But there are other humans, I think. diverse cast of characters. Yeah, but none of them have penises. Not like Link's. I think it's time for Zelda to embrace the real world of today, 2006, and be a first-person shooter. Mm -hmm. All right, that's, that's a great time. And I feel like Zelda should embrace the real world of like New York. 1998 and become a fighting game. Oh, that'd be crazy. Yeah. Who would Zelda fight? I mean, you just, other than Ganon, it'd be like this when they did Star Wars Masters of Terrace Kasai or Master whatever. Masters of Terrace Kasai. And they're like, oh shit, there's only like three characters. <laughs> so they'd have to make up a bunch of other. Characters, there'd be like a Goron character, but you'd all, you'd fight and be a really good game. Probably like a Zelda Zelda like PT like game, Ooh, because scary. the Majora's Mask is very dark. We oh, yeah. no true horror so like, coming from like Zelda. Kid friendly. It's like oh Ganon, uh. ah, yeah. <laughs> so, oh, that's, that's okay. He's, he's behind the door. Yeah, there's Five Nights at Hyrule. Princess Zelda has like a bloody fetus oh, coming oh, out oh, of her. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's yeah. terrible. Uh, I was gonna say a, a Zelda should be a real time strategy game. Um, or or turn based, sort of like civilization. Yeah. Uh, basically, all the all the units are just uh, Link moving to Zelda, and then every time they meet up, it's the dating game, uh -huh. and they fuck. Bat P. Space. <laughs> what did he say? Space. He just said the Is word space. space. All right. Uh, Zelda. Amen, <laughs> brother. Sora tops. I have this crazy gnarly cough. What's the all's home remedies? Uh, don't ask Lawrence. Yeah, he's yeah. Always he's been sick for eight weeks. He's constantly yeah. got a cough. My trick is to uh, to cough really loud in front of everybody, make a really loud, aggravating hacking sound, and then vomit up a wad of whatever into a trash can okay. in, in plain view of everybody. All That's right. my technique. No, just fucking do the neti pot, man. Pour, pour the, you do the, the water with the salt, you pour that right in, and it feels like you're drowning. That's okay. Yeah. It comes out the other nostril. Cleans you right up, right? Just rings you right up. My uh, home remedy that we're actually going to do with Lawrence next week, if he isn't better, is we're going to send him up into the mountains. Oh. We're going to wrap him up real tight, bundle okay. him up, and then yeah. he's going to be on a wheelchair oh. on a just a porch somewhere with a bunch of monks around him. Yeah. In, okay. in you know that mountain air, a mountain air is going to clean you right out, buddy. Right out, yeah. And then so Hannibal Lecter lights him on fire and pushes him down the middle yeah. of the street. <laughs> I, I like to I like to get in the shower, take a cold shower, just let the water run over me like I lost a boxing match. Yeah. And then, but then I also try and open everything up so it all pours out. Yeah. So when Elise inevitably comes in to check on me, I turn and I face her as a snot Ugh. and everything just pouring out of my whole mm. face. Mm. Yeah. I think you just go to the World War Z school of logic and you just inject yourself with every sort of disease and that way you'll build immunity to everything. You'll never get sick. You'll live forever. That peak? Lots of water, lots of tea. Space. Last question. All right, from Julian's 
Julian's p Julian SP. If I were to go to the uh, if I were to go to the gym to get jacked like James, to the hairdresser to get Elise's haircut, laugh and wheeze like Bruce, get angry like Lawrence, and play video games just as good as Adam, what do I need to do to be more like Peak? I don't know if you're here, but Matt Peak came in on Friday and he said, "Does anyone have an iPhone cable?" I'm like. Well, I don't know. He goes, no, 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 not a, not that one. Yeah, the older one. Not the one that works with every phone. <laughs> no, but we fi- we found you something, Matt. You did. We, I, we I did. actually yeah. have to borrow it again. Of the uh-huh. <laughs> you should just take it because I don't know who could use that. It's okay. I'll bring it, it back. Holding the trash can together. You know, you could, yeah, you could buy that cable for like two bucks. I was using it as yeah, a but I got China. I got two of them at home. I don't need to. I don't. Well, need bring to one of them here. Oh, I know. They fight like a married oh, couple. It's my favorite. Well. If you really want to be like Matt Peak, what you should first do is upgrade your underwear. Because that's where Matt Peak starts every single day. True. Is he wearing them? No, not today. Oh. Darn it. Oh, well, even Matt Peak isn't Matt Peak all the time. But if you're looking to upgrade your underwear, you should probably do it with Mac Weldon. They uh, sponsored this episode of Open House. Mm-hmm. Everyone in this room is a fan of Mac yeah. Weldon. Whether or not you wear it, Elise doesn't wear them, but she I loves she, she loves seeing them on me. She <laughs> takes him a good takes a big good whiff of it, which she can, because you have the Mac Weldon, Weldon Silver line of underwear. Sniffle? It's antimicrobial. It smells perfect. It prevents it from getting sticky. You get sticky, but they don't. Um, they got all kinds of stuff. You got socks, shirts, undershirts, hoodies, sweatpants. One of my favorite pairs of shorts. They're just regular shorts. Are actually Mac Weldon's. Wears them all the time. Them. I almost bought. I almost bought more in a different color, so that way I could just alternate them during the week. That sounds great. This weekend, yeah, uh, yeah. Ordering online super easy. You just put everything in your cart and you just drag it out. And Mac Weldon's better than whatever you're wearing right now. Um, smart design, premium fabrics, and simple shopping. Lawrence, what's your favorite piece of Mac Weldon clothing? Uh, used to be the underwear, obviously, but I branched out. I'm in sock territory now. <laughs> Uh, I realized that I there are more parts of my body that I could put nice fabric around. Yep. And it's like it's like walking on silk sheets all day. Mm-hmm. It's way better than the nice. like bargain bag of twenty pairs of socks I get for like three dollars yeah, at the Safeway. Slipping yeah. around the office is so silky. Yeah. <laughs> Silky so smooth. You can cover yourself head to toe in Mac Weldon if you really want to. And if you're gonna, you should do it using code OpenHouse. You get twenty percent off. Uh, cool. Go to macweldon.com. Hmm. Use promo code OpenHouse to get twenty percent off, and you're gonna be you're gonna be enjoying your life a lot more. And you'll be way more like Matt Peak. Matt, you should just take that cable and keep it. No one's gonna use it. Do you have two in the house because the charge only lasts from the bedroom to the living yeah. room? Yeah. Okay. Because <laughs> they're both huge. They're both they're both tall. They're, they're both really tall, tall dudes. And you'd be like. Like oh, this, man. maybe creeping up on you. Oh man, that'd be intense. I'd have to use my mobility. At some point, you'd have to cross body block off the top rope, and they'd catch you. Yeah, you'd That's have to like... bite one of them. There'd be so much pubic and body hair all over the ring too, because there's. So... Yeah. Yeah, that'd be disgusting. It's the manliest fight of the year.